Andy, how are you? Hi, Andy. Hey, hey Debbie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Well, I'm excited tonight because we have a guest, and I can't wait to just tell everybody who it is right now. I've kind of been teasing it around, but you you must have been seeing her name. So it's Shannon Leishner. And Shannon, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you for having me. It's such an welcome. honor. Welcome. Look at those wings behind her, everybody. You have a hint of who she's dealing with. Um, Shannon, we would just really love to start the show off knowing a little bit or a lot about what you do and um, uh, what it's all about. Okay. Well, I have, um, I mean, of course, I've been the professional psychic medium for quite some time. Um, but in the, in that evolution, we all realize, I think that, that there's some other energies around and some other energies that we can use. And for the past, I'd say 15 years, I've been getting, it feels like a new ability every couple months. And yeah. that has been certainly phenomenal. So what I do essentially is I am a life coach. I do the psychic medium stuff, but it is to help people find their happiness, which is my complete passion is to help people find their joy and their happiness in this life. And so I do energy healing. I'm a certified theta healer and instructor. I can certify people and teach people theta healing in seven different classes. Um, I am an angelic communicator. I can see people's past lives. Um, I help people resolve old issues in the past and in the present and anywhere in between, because as we know, past, present and future exist at the same time. Um, and so I pretty, I, I pride myself on having a large toolbox and anything that someone needs in order to change their life for the better. I'm, I'm willing to make it happen. But that's amazing. I, I want to just get on this one thing. I, I'm like bobbing my head up. Yes, yes, yes. At so many things I'm in complete agreement with you. But this one thing you said that you were getting a new gift every month. I went, uh, Yes. Um, I talk about this all the time, Shannon, where I had, um, of course, I was always psychic, but I had a near death experience. And then everything came in. And then it kind of stayed that way until I reached a milestone in age. And then it came in. And then it keeps coming in. And it keeps coming in. And I'm just like, this is just amazing that it does that. But when you said that, I knew exactly what you were talking about. You know, um, I'm, I'm the type of person, I'm sure you like this as well. I love to have things now. Like don't, don't tell me that I have this ability and it will develop yeah. over time. No, just give it to me now. And a lot of times the angels shake their head and they say, you don't understand what you're asking for. And I still say, okay, but that's all right. Just fix me later, but go ahead and give it to me now. Um, the last time I did that, and I'm actually dealing with the repercussions right at the moment, uh, my brain skips. And so I have a little bit of my brain has to catch up to what the energy is doing in my body. And so I'm having some issues remembering names and, you know, little human things that, we, that are kind of important. <laughs> Well, you know, the funny thing is I do a reading and within 24 hours, uh, it's gone. Mm -hmm. oh. And people are like expecting me to know what. And I was like, you guys, it's like having amnesia. It's so weird. But one thing that I do that's kind of funny and people go, whoa, 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 stop, is I think I'm doing telepathy with people. And they say, you know, you're leaving out all your words. <laughs> and I go, Oh yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> so the the creatures that we are, and we're so always grateful for our gifts, we do have them come out this way a lot, you know, all these different things. But uh, absolutely, you were, uh, I just resonated with you talking about energy and all of that. Um, you are just, and I agree it. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> and I love that you're a life coach because this is something that's so needed. And um, I, you know, I had a lot of stuff happen today, Shannon, where uh, working with some real heavy stuff, I had a wonderful client in Australia on a long time on the phone, somebody ran in on the last minute that had another life changing thing, she Ubered to my house. And as 
literally, I ran up here and Andy, Andy was on. I said, Andy, I need time. I just ran up here from my client. I, as I was doing that, um, one of my friends from school over had overdosed and I just got the message. And I'm saying if we need something along the way to help us with all these things that happen, all these people are, I, why I put my hand up is that his best friend just messaged me and I had to stop the ringing. He's messaging me because he lost his friend. So Shannon, my dear, this is a, a, a wonderful gift to be a life coach for people. Yeah, you know, what you just said is huge right now. Uh, we are going through some amazingly huge energy waves. And what's happening, it's kind of like a, a tsunami. So, you know, it's got a big recoil. So everything recoils. And as we recoil, all of our stuff is being shown to us. It's causing anxiety. It's causing fear. It's causing pain. It's causing us to really begin to take a look at ourselves. Well, we had one of those big ones happen in, in April, as we know. And then uh, the angels have told me there are two more coming. There's actually one that's imminent. Uh, the recoil has been happening, which is creating, unfortunately, suicides. And it's creating this energy that is that people can't handle. They don't know what to do with. And so part of what I do is to help people be able to handle this energy. But as you know, uh, we're even getting slammed with the energy as well. Right. Right. This blows my mind about the communication with the angels. I know who I work with and I actually have a dear friend who says, I just work with the angels and this one, this one, this one. And so could you tell us a little bit about who you work with or how did this happen to you? Do you always see angels or talk to them? Well, um, I was born in a, uh, in, in a family of psychics. Um, I've had some really crazy things happen. I grew up in Amityville horror. Um, so they've protected me and they've kept me alive this entire time. It's not literally the Amityville horror, but everything that happened there happened to our household. Um, but the angels have always been around. Um, they have presented themselves extremely strongly when I decided to make this a professional choice. Um, and they presented themselves as a team. And they say we are a team and we come together and we're working together. We're working, you know, to create a difference. So I just call them kind of my entourage. They're my team. And, and I people say, well, do you pray to them? And I say, no, they're we're a team. So it's not it, they they have a different abilities than I do. But I, I don't see them as somebody I need to pray to. I just kind of talk to them. And um, it's funny. They say they, people ask me, do you hear their voices? And I say no, but each one of them has their own energy signature. So I under, I know which one is talking to me um, at the time. It's kind of like us recognizing our loved one that sits next to us. It's the same, same energy. That's amazing. When you said the Amityville house, I was like, you know, my house, we had hooded, hooded figures and we had fireballs, electric balls of light going. We had all kinds of things happening. I know that that house, I visited it since and it's changed hands and the energies, the every, all that stuff's gone. But I grew up with the chaos. And um, I know that we, I'm sure we get lots of clients, you do and I do, that experience things in their homes. But, you know, when you've got this uh, series of generations seeing the same apparitions and stuff and the same stuff happening, it's really crazy. So I, I know, are you into helping them protect themselves in, uh, in, in that situation? Oh, completely. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I even can clear the house so I can go in and clear. I was recently at a hotel in Northern California and it happened to be without my knowing it happened to be one of the most haunted hotels in Northern California. And I sat one night and I said, Oh, great. As soon as I walked in there, I was like, Oh, this is going to be fun, you know? Um, and I just brought in the angels and, um, I work very closely with Azrael and Azrael came in and cleaned house. And that the night that it, it had all happened, I was sitting there waiting like, okay, is it completely clear? And he had assured me over and over and over again, it was clear. And so, I mean, this is something that I do often. I can actually bi-locate. So I'll call somebody on the phone 
and I will bilocate to their house and I can describe the colors I see in each room, sometimes even what is in the room and where things are positioned. Wow, that's yes. an amazing ability. Um, uh, it just, uh, it blows my mind even though I'm involved in all of this. I think that's really great. Now, um, do you do things like for your clients for giving them messages from the angels? Yes, um, that's uh, usually in a session, I do a whole lot of things like I, I mean, I, you know this, we don't just focus on psychic readings on what they're going to wear next Tuesday. But we focus on um, messages from the angels, messages from spirit, and everything else. And I keep getting, um, I, I work very closely with Gabriel, and he keeps reminding me to say something. And so I'm going to go ahead and honor him for just for a minute. Um, he wanted uh, me to let people know that more recently, I have been about a year and a half ago, I was given a memory of how to go into the body and heal and shift things and shift energy. And more, even more recently, I was uh, shot in the Las Vegas massacre. And I really started to study the brain and PTSD and, and what has been happening with people and PTSD. So now I've been shown how to go into the brain and pull out trauma and move energies in the brain in order to begin to heal PTSD. And so, and most of our illnesses start with, start in the brain. So um, it's really neat how our organs will talk to us and different pieces of the brain and the body will actually discuss things with us. So he wanted me to um, put that out there that that's what I work on. Oh, amazing. I gotta just put a thing in here. The need right now for PTSD healing is is greater than people can really imagine. Yes. I mean, you hear it all the time from uh, not only like when you think of these tragedies, these events where these things happen, but the military and, you know, the horrible things that have happened to people. It's it, I'm seeing it more and more and more. And we're seeing like the people that maybe go into the schools and do shootings and stuff. And you're going, oh my goodness, they they were dropped somehow. We weren't able to help these people or support them or heal them. Nonetheless, the victims. I mean, it's just so many people. Yes. Oh, yes. And it affects, it affects so many people, not just, yeah, like you said, not just the victims, but the family members of those victims. Mm -hmm. yeah, and right. um, yeah, I mean, just I actually my mentor, um, may he rest in peace now, you know, he was one of the most powerful men I knew. But we were working on a grant to help military and brain damaged people to begin to heal their brain. And unfortunately, he passed before we were able to see that uh, come to fruition. But I'm still putting that energy out there that anybody that wants to work with me on creating change in the brain, I would love to uh, partner with them. That it's amazing that you were doing a grant. This needs to to happen. This needs to go through. I have uh, like I have an umbrella group called Psychic Fixes. And under it is many different people um, work and have their businesses. And so many of them are ones that want to specifically uh, do healing for the military and veterans and different people that have PTSD. This is amazing because part of it kind of resonates how not that it's the same. But when when we used to watch that show, The Healer. And he's talking about how energy you have to you have to make it right. And so it uh, resonates with me that you're using is it would you call it an energy healing? It is. Um, I actually um, I do something I call it the spirit whispering. So what I do is I go in actually energetically go into the brain. And there's a part of the brain called the amygdala, which is where PTSD and, and trauma is stored. It is our fight and flight. So it is what triggers us. It is our reactionary energy. So when I go to the amygdala, I actually ask the amygdala, what do you need in order to release this? Most of the time, actually 90.9.9% .9 of the time, it will tell me, release this, 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 and I'll let it go. And so then I go in and I start pulling the energy out. We start working on different areas of trauma and then we let it go. One very important thing is, and I know that a lot of um, counselors do this and I'm not bashing them in any way, but when we open up Pandora's box and then we look at our time and say, it's time to go, 
we cause more damage than than not. And so I'm the type of person I'll either not open Pandora's box or just release the energy enough so that we can recognize what's in it and then let it go. And I won't I won't stop a session until that is cleared because I don't I truly feel don't leave somebody half baked. Oh, yes. Um, I want to tell our viewers, if you have questions about what Shannon does um, or the angels or a personal question, and we'll be doing some questions later on, please go ahead. So um, especially right now, if you have something about asking her about anything that she's talked to uh, talked about right now, let us know. OK, so Andy, I lost your picture here. The pictures are going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm I miss you. It's interesting to see all the pictures going. There was somebody. So, uh, uh, there was somebody that had asked a question. I was either. watching them <laughs> pop up. Someone had asked a question about the number forty-four and why fours keep popping up. And um, yeah, I'm seeing angel number forty-four. Um, fours are are the indication that the angels are with you. Um, and, and the masters and your higher, uh, the higher self and all that. So it's just an indication we're here. We're supporting you continue to move forward. And wow, yeah, amazing. you might have that wow. as you might, you might know of that as well of what the, um, to, um, angel number 44 is. Shannon, you are so awesome because Andy and I look it up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's so wonderful to have somebody know no hi wendy how are you if you shannon i i don't know if you can see can wendy see but she paint she's a, she's a face painter hi wendy and <laughs> um, wendy asked, is that your tote <laughs> go ahead oh no i was just i was looking at her picture um but she asked uh for advice on how to buy locate um it, it takes practice uh, and it definitely, you need to put your brain into a different state. A lot of us are in beta, which is the reactionary state and you can't really go very far on beta. Um, you would need to put your brain into a theta or delta state in order to be able to do that. I do have a free video on my website and on my YouTube page to put your brain into theta and it's free. You can watch it anytime. Um, but to buy locate, always make sure you're protected um, and it is just that by locate. It's not you move, taking your spirit, moving it somewhere else. It's not astral traveling. So you are in two places at once and it just takes practice. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, Andy, um, at some point you'll put the link to Shannon's website unless we have it already. Yeah, it's all, it's in the description and in the comments. Yeah. Oh, okay. You are on it. Yeah. <laughs> he is. That's, that's what that's, I love about him. That's why I, I disappeared the comments. I couldn't get rid of them. So I had to reload and get out. And so I didn't want to disrupt your uh, oh, conversation. So thank um, you. Um, so Shannon, you, you mentioned also about past lives. Um, and you, when we talked about things coming as gifts on and on, one day I decided that I would try a past life when they sit my group the dead talk go we need to get somebody who does that and i said let me try what happened was absolutely amazing and where i was talking end up talking to the people in their past life and getting and pulling out a message so can you tell us a little bit how you do past lives um, I kind of see it like a Rolodex. So what I do is I see all these little screens of lives um, when I tap into somebody and then I say, show me the most important um, one that it pertains to them right now. Um, mm. Sometimes something will pop up and it'll come and I'll get a flash, like maybe 10 seconds. Um, and then if I if they're say that they have a pain or say that there's something in their body um, I can go down to where that pain is at and it will show me if it came from a past life and then I will definitely get what happened there, how, why the energy is still there, why are they still carrying it over, who's involved in this life. It, it really becomes very intricate. And does that clear the, usually clear the pain or the problem in this um, life? Well, then I go into um, marking all those contracts complete and then freeing each and every person from that obligation. So when you do that and you begin to mark the contracts complete, removing, uh, you know, is we have um, uh, a lot of cellular DNA memory that comes from past lives. So we can release the cellular DNA memory. 
uh, any karmic energy, we can uh, release all of that. So um, there's lots of methods that you can use. Oh my goodness, our viewers, and I know I this is gonna one. go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all out. I do, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I want one. <laughs> yeah, sure, look at this. <laughs> This is going to go through a lot of a lot of our viewers and you guys. Uh, the link is there for you to go and to connect with Shannon and um, become her client and and enjoy all this great things that she can do. I know we're all like on in line, right? But <laughs> we all right. carry we carry stuff with us, so this is a chance to experience the release and um, you know to let that stuff go. And, um, you know, I was going to ask you, Shannon, what do you think? Because somebody, we were just talking about this, about birthmarks, the old myth or whatever. Is it true that a birthmark can be uh, something that happened to us in a past life? Um, I believe, yes. I don't think it's every single time, but I do believe it is a possibility. I have actually seen a pair of twins and not only that, but uh, other people as well, but a pair of twins have the same exact birthmark on the same exact spot. And, wow. um, and I even had a, a friend, she had a boyfriend and they both had the heart shaped birthmark on the same part of their shoulder, which I'm going, okay, maybe there's a little bit to this, you know, but for the most part, I think that it's, um, it, it depends, you know, I think that you kind of go have to go in and take a look at the energy to see if it is past life related. Um, so uh, I, I think I had this. Depends. I had this weird thing happen where I was doing a past life for someone and I got twins come through. So I got her in strong. And then all of a sudden this other sister came and globbed on in front and started talking for her. And I said, I don't know what's going on, but this is what she looks like. And here you are. And you are now at the back and she is talking for you and all this. And she laughed. She says, I know, because that's what has happened in this life. And I thought, you mean it carried on to another life? It was just so amazing that I'm just like going, this is crazy, but it's real. So I want to say hi to Julie. And I got to say this. We say it all the time. Shout out to Carlos. Carlos <laughs> is in the house. It's something that we're like the old cheers thing. When Carlos comes on, we have to acknowledge that. Right. But <laughs> yeah, the, the comments are coming in quick. So I'm just kind of popping them up. But we can always go back. Oh, Sarah, so. says, Sarah says a good one. You want to put that one back up? Yeah. OK. Um, well, actually, wasn't there a Sarah that just was on um, the one before? But this is okay. She would like. Uh, well, if she if she would like that, um, we would need oh, to talk on maybe, the phone, yeah, so that I can okay. do that. Okay, I, I don't how need do to you, be in front of them. Yeah. Okay, Sarah says, "How do you heal yourself from a bad past life? Also, why does the number eleven follow me?" Oh, 11 follows a lot of people. It actually followed mm -hmm. me today. Um, <laughs> I, I think it follows all of us, and it is at your highest manifestation point. 11 is a power number, and so definitely use it. You know, use it in that moment. If you see it, create what you want to create in this life. Um, how do you hear yourself from a bad past life? Um, the first thing is to acknowledge that it happened, to give yourself forgiveness, because a lot of the times we do things that we don't aren't particularly proud of. Um, and then I would um, bring forth the virtues that you learned in that past life. You know, you, you experience that for a reason and then free yourself and free anyone else from that contract. Go ahead and mark that complete. Um, you can connect a creator and ask them to, to um, clear it or you can contact me or any of them. I'm sure that whoever else uh, is, is able to do it would be more than happy to help you. I'm going to write that down. Clear the contract. So yes. I, I might have a host, a host stack to take care of. <laughs> um, Carlos of needs past, to see Shannon. <laughs> oh, yes. Speaking of past lives, um, may, I, may I mention that um, behind your, I would say it's your right shoulder, you have a little bit of heavy energy. Um, and so I would say that um, it feels to me, since we've been mentioning past lives, it feels to me almost like a spear or a some sort of metal triangular thing that is actually in the back part of your back. It's right under your shoulder blade. So I don't know if you've dealt with that energy, but it's definitely mm -hmm. there. 
I get pushed all the time. <laughs> uh, and I, you know, I do click, I do work constantly, maybe like you, when we were talking about talking to the angels, it's a natural thing. Yes. And so it's talking to the spirits and talking, I have a whole list and they tend to come in when I'm doing readings and I have not had time to do anything, but run from one reading to the phone, to a, a person. And that's important. I tell everybody you need to do your clearings and everything, but today has been a nonstop, <laughs> but thank you. Yes, but yes. you're right, you're absolutely right, Sharon. I get pushed and just leaned on constantly. I'm like that and I'm going, okay, okay, okay. So, but you're how, right. How is your back? How's your muscles in your back, especially around your shoulder blades? You know what, that's where I, I hold everything. Yes. And that's where I always have to go and get get my, uh, the massage and everything. And, um, it can be dangerous if I don't get, get rid of it because I honestly, I don't know about you. I try not to take on things, but sometimes you do when you have these big things happening, it's the energy seems to dump. And if it's going to dump, it dumps there, Shannon. So yes. you're right. Well, you have, yeah. um, you have some energy there that probably needs to be removed from your right shoulder. Um, and that will help you not to hold it there as much because it feels to me right. like it's a little bit of a burden energy there. Yeah, we haven't done, um, I, I used to do at least a couple times a year, a big healing thing. So I'd have the pranic healers come and the energy healers and the Reiki masters. And we would just take care of everybody there. We tend not to do ourselves though, but it's time for me to put that in so we can all get that nice uh, healing. And it's Shannon, I don't know about you, but energy comes in so many ways and I'm an energy healer. Yeah. So I just said, I just send it and all of that. But there, here's my friends that do pranic and do, um, and you do it a little diff different way. So it's amazing on all the different ways that we can actually heal. And I don't know if you've not, you know, are you planning on making some kind of a book? Do you have a book or anything about the healing? So this is so funny because the angels have given me so much material for books. Um, and mm -hmm. they keep saying, write the book, write the book. And I keep finding reasons why not to write the book. <laughs> and um, I have all of this recorded information. I said, well, if you want me to write the book, you're going to have to send me a ghostwriter uh, because I, my brain keeps going and, and I can go off into a tangent. Um, so Gabriel said the other probably, and the other day, meaning several months ago, he said, do a workbook <laughs> you know he's yeah. like trying to get so get to me so i can do the workbook so actually um i am now in the process i am doing it i'm creating several workbooks for several different things so for healing ptsd for manifesting abundance for creating what you want in your life for your soulmate so i'm going to do several workbooks but here's the great thing about it i'm actually going to make it so they fit in a day timer and so I want them to be a little bit different. So they're going to be in a day timer. So you can write your notes and do the workbook at the same time. And you can ha hold as many as you like. And so uh, that I want to make it a little bit different for people. That is awesome. needed now. That's needed now. Yeah. You better make that a priority. That's it, awesome. It is a priority. It will be available um, November. And we will absolutely love to advertise that for you and Thank put it you. out there. This is this is so needed. All of those things and what a great thing. Uh, a long time ago, I suffered. I suffered something in my life, and I I go a book saved me. <laughs> it really did. It was how to survive the loss of a love, mm -hmm. and it saved my life. I go, oh my goodness, it saved my life. And Shannon, your books, I'm going to make my prediction is, are going to save lives. You oh, have to work you. on it. This book made me do something every day. And yes. here's Shannon's book. It's so important to focus and do this every day. And what Shannon's doing, you're going to go and work on that because you can't let it go. You have to work on it to work through it to get better. And so, Shannon, I'm so excited for you. That's great. Oh, I you, love thank it. Thank you. Yes. And um, I've already, um, I have this material for something that's actually earth, sh earth shattering. Um, and the angels have already given it to me. So, uh, they, they really want to push that one. 
And so they were just getting my feet wet with the workbooks. And I know that that's going to help. But I know that this next one that's coming out and, and my goal is to have it out by next December, um, completely done and everything uh, will definitely make people go, oh, my God. So I'm, I'm looking forward to making that happen. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. I just, you know, just knew you needed to do that. Um, well, our our books pale to hers, Andy. No, <laughs> but, no, no, no. But we're Everyone we're entertaining. <laughs> we're no, entertaining. No, no. Everyone is. Important. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes. I'm kidding. Uh, but that that's wonderful. Do we have any other questions? You guys have we questions? Do. I have. Um, right. There's two of them. This one, I'm I'm curious on how you would respond to uh, Tony's question. How do you use 11 or when they see 11, um, the angel number, what, what would you recommend they do? Um, well, I would recommend that they actually begin to pay attention to their thoughts because at that very moment, they're being reminded you are creating, you are manifesting. And so many of us have all of these negative thoughts that go through our minds. So at that moment, when you're seeing 1111, you're being reminded, change your thoughts. Change your thoughts to what you want to create, not what you do not want. Because the subconscious does not understand not. And so if you say, I don't want this, the universe will send you just that. So make sure that yeah. you are creating what you want, not what you don't want. <laughs> Thank you. Andy. Thank you, Tony, for Andy. that question. Oh, Andy, yeah. do you have a certain do you have a certain number that shows up? Yeah, um, like all your life. Well, just recently, um, my mother, my deceased mother, had crossed over. Well, she's been deceased for probably twelve years, but she had crossed over into the light, and um, now she's coming back and she's showing me my birthday on the clock almost every day, twelve oh eight. So. I'll, I'll notice that. Um, I know Debbie sees 909 is very significant to her. And I usually see that an hour before she does. So yeah. she'll say it's 808 he here. Me. And I'm like, it's 909 now. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, my 1010 follows me everywhere. Every single day I see it at least three times. 1010, 1010, 1010. So I, I hear you, you know, and it's it's the spirits giving us our message. It's whether it's the angels or the spirits, right. you know, the universe is talking to us and we need to pay attention. It's the signs are amazing, Shannon, where I tell people watch out literally for the signs because they will show you. They will tell you it's right there. One of the things I did was kind of crazy, Shannon, where I left a house not knowing where I was going, but I said, I'm fine. So I asked for the navigator to come and I said, now you literally have to show me the signs. I literally, and I went down the first street and there was Duncan. I said, thank you. <laughs> kept going. There was Libra. I'm a Libra. Okay. So I kept going through the signs until I got to uh, Capricorn. And that was my two X's. And I knew to get off the road. So I got off the road and it took me right to the road I was looking for. And I went home. So literally, there are signs just like the numbers. They're there to, to show you or to tell you something. They're all messages. So China is asking, um, Andy, do you want to read that? Yeah, um, so China is saying, I have always seen 1234, 1234 throughout my life, constantly, multiple times a day. Is there any meaning behind this for her? Oh, I think there's several meanings. I mean, one mm -hmm. is a power number. Two is you're right, on the right path. Um, three is uh, the your spirits, your loved ones, your um, your family members are with you. And then four is the angels and the masters are, are with you. So it looks like you know, you have the power to create your path and you have all of this support and, and protection with you. So do it. I think the biggest thing is f fulfill your path, move forward, do it. Wow. China, that was really good. I want that one now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think we always get to choose the numbers, but that was a good one. Hey, Wendy, yours is 1031. That's Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it is. By the way. <laughs> yeah, and Carlos is, his is 11. And, um, oh, he saw 11, 11, 11. 14. 
Mm-hmm. And then we have Vicky. Uh, she's always uh, Vicky, seen 11, 11, and 13s. Vicky McDonald is a fantastic medium. She blows me away, and we're just graced with her watching us. It's just amazing that she's here. I love it. Hey, John, talk about great mediums. How yeah. many thousands of people were on your show? Well, I was watching you set a record there with all those people watching you do uh, readings, John. You're awesome. And I just love seeing you smile. You just smile and you laugh until you get enough people. And then away he goes with the readings. You're amazing, John. Please come on our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, China is thankful to you, Shannon. Thank yeah. you so much. You know, I, I love to connect with other people who have abilities because I really truly believe we need to stick together. It is not about the competition for clients. It's about creating a difference in this world. So anyone who wants to connect to me, especially John or, or the other person, I can't remember what her Vicky. name was. Vicky. Vicky. Um, contact me on Facebook or, you know, send me a message. I would love to connect with you. That's the one thing I always say, Shannon, because people will say something. I said, you have to understand there is no competition. No. If you're really in there and you're on the right path and every, uh, you know, I bring a lot of people to my home and I'm going to do it again. I have a shaman coming to do a lot of work here this uh, month and have a meetup. And um, so she's worried about this, that. And I said, there's no competition. You know, you have to know that it's all good. We're, we're teaching people and it's all from love and, um, and concern and helping people. So that there, you were right. Absolutely. Man, you're my new best friend, Shannon. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're amazing. I love so your China, energy, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, China says her daughter was born 11 wow. at 1.35 a.m. in a room 135. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. wow. There's something about that. We need the numerology person and all this stuff. Uh, well, five John is change. So the only difference there is five is change. So she's oh. coming in to bring change. Oh, so wow. 135 is one is the power. Three is is the power of the spirit, the spiritual power. And five is uh, change. So the, the spiritual power of change. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. Isn't that amazing? Thank you, Shannon. Oh, what, yeah. Did John say anything besides absolutely? Said, or? Yes, absolutely. He'll yeah. he'll come on. Um, I'll have to schedule uh, with him. Awesome. I know yeah. I've asked him in the past, but... Um, I think we've got enough practice here. Uh, see, I told him how great his, his smile is. That he, he charmed is. him. <laughs> so, oh, so, that would be really great. That'd be fun. It looks yeah. like, um, I don't know, Carlos, I'm looking at other comments as well, but Carlos is wondering if there's an angel or a certain angel that has a message for him that um, you'd be able to give. Um, at the moment, it feels like he's healing from something. There's some sort of healing going on with him. Um, and so I do feel like he has two of them at the moment. I feel Uriel very strongly and, um, Raphael with help with healing. Um, I don't know if it's a physical healing or if it's an emotional healing, but he definitely needs to continue with clearing because whatever energy is left over from that needs to be cleared. So he may be holding on to, um, to some, old stuff uh, that is affecting him or uh, it actually I just heard Uriel say some, there's something about his environment that's making him sick so I would love to see Car what Carlos has to say but there's something about his environment that's causing stress on the body and possibly some of his organs so I don't know if it's a physical sick or if it's a uh, stress anxiety sick but there's something that needs to be changed in his environment Amazing. Amazing. Thank, Thank you, you, Shannon. Yes, yes. Wow. Drink your water. <laughs> I know. I, I always have to drink, guys. Please excuse me. I, it's yeah. they, they go through so much of my energy. Vicky says, I did ha uh, see an aura about an hour ago. It's beautiful white aura. It's pure white shine, angels surrounding their loved ones a while when she was doing rings tonight. Oh, wow. That'd be amazing to see. That's awesome, Vicki. Um, was your grandmother with you 
because it feels to me like part of that was a was a grandmother or it feels to me like some like grandma energy that was around you vicky see so if she'll message until... back yes and i'd love to hear what what carlos had to say yeah. he's here to respond carlos stress. says it was stress yep he needs yeah. to take care of himself and make sure that uh you know his organs aren't being affected because i do feel a little heaviness in the chest not that I'm predicting anything because I don't ever predict illness, but he really needs to, to manage this stress. Perfect. That was, yeah, it was. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, so, so Shannon, <laughs> um, do you, do you want to see an angel? Do you want to, like, I have a friend who had, um, she went through, like I did, a big loss of blood loss. And afterwards, she saw an angel and then she sees angels and she communicates with them. And that amazes me. And I also wonder why I can't see them. And I go, I, they think maybe I'll have a heart attack if I see them. <laughs> I mean, I really want to see an angel, you know, physically. I want to see them. Well, I physically saw Michael. Uh, Michael appeared to me one time and he appeared to me as this huge warm light but it, it took my whole hallway up. It was huge. Wow. Um, so I have seen him. Um, Gabriel, well, actually, they all show themselves to me, but in my mind. So they give me a picture. Um, yeah. They no longer appear, although I was teaching an angel class. And everyone said, oh, we want to manifest an angel. We want to see one. Show, prove, us, prove to us that they exist. In that very moment, there was a light that shot across the room. Everyone screamed and freaked out. And I was saying, you ask them to show up, and then you yeah. scream and freak <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, I would have been like, well, I have things that fly in my house and move, and they wave and stuff like that. And I just think it's the greatest thing. And um, though my husband will be just like this, <laughs> you know, he doesn't want to look at it. But I'm like, yes, look, 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 <laughs> you know. But um, I think that, I hope that they... Um, they kind of manifest for me sometime. That'd be awesome. Um, let's see. I cannot see angels. No clue, especially when the dead are so comfortable showing themselves. What's the difference? Um, well, angels have a higher frequency. They um, speak at a, a higher vibration. Not that they're higher vibration than spirits are, because there are some spirits that have high vibration. Um, but they're on a different frequency. So think of it like a radio, you know, you have to tune in to the right uh, radio station in order to get the right vibration, the right uh, sound waves. Um, Cause angels, they, they speak uh, at first they begin to speak in kind of like um, metaphors. So they're very out there yeah. and metaphorical. And I kind of tell them speak English to me and they say, but we are speaking English. <laughs> and so yeah. we had to go back and forth. And, um, the, the difference for me is I feel heavier when I'm speaking to spirit and much, much lighter when I'm speaking to angels. Um. Can I ask you a question? So as everybody goes around, it's a real, they're always saying like my spirit guides, my spirit guides, my spirit guides. Now, they tend to think they're spirit guides, and then they tend to think there's angels. So what is your take on that? Are the angels your spirit guides? or I think, I think it just depends on what, who your spirit is and who you've asked to be your guides. Um, because I, I definitely feel that there are a lot of people who have angels as their guides. Um, but I, we have, you know, two, three, five, sometimes spirit guides. It just depends on, on our, on our um, task here. Um, but mm -hmm. there are, I've seen people that have had tree spirits as angel, as, as spirit guides. Um, I've seen, you know, a lot of them is the, sh uh, the old shamans. Uh, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of fairy energy, a lot of elementals that are guides. Um, they're amazing guides, by the way, they, they really get that fun in there. Um, and then you have angels who are amazing guides, but you, you know, I guess it just depends on who your spirit is. And that is what's really important is to begin to recognize who you are, because we are not the bodies that we wear. So I did, you guys, I did book Zoe and Zoe is going to be on October 17th. And Shannon, Zoe is 
such a gifted singer. It's like a Celtic woman. So, oh, she's just wonderful. She's a performance entertainer and, and our friend. And she grew up with the Fae. And so she's going to talk. She will, she knows their language and she'll sing it. She was at my house and she sang it and outside. She doesn't need a microphone, people. It was the most creative and drumming wonderful experience so she's going to be on our show and she wants to talk about performance art and mediumship and how you channel through that and i said aren't you going to talk about the fairies and she said oh of course we're <laughs> going to talk fairies so i'm glad to hear you say that because it's going to it's going to be so great and the the language is so interesting you guys so we have a lot of good fun things coming up i will Let's definitely see, have listen to that I know you have to get connected with her. She is, she can uh, sing the fairy things for your, your uh, CD or something. She's wonderful. great. Yes. I mean, I, she's wonderful. I can feel loved ones, but why does it seem scary to see with your own physical eye? I truly feel that that's our culture. Our culture has created the fear of the unknown. Actually, our culture has created fear, period. Um, and so we're so scared of what we can't see. And so if something just pops up in front of us and we're not ready for it, we're fearful of it because then if it goes invisible again, what is it going to do to me? Is it going to hurt me? And there's so many shows and movies and all of these things that show all the bad sides. Now, granted, there are really bad spirits and some of them you need to worry about. But the biggest thing we need to worry about is what we can see. Because there are, I, I, I fear humans more than I do actual spirits. Yep, I do too. Yeah. Absolutely. That's right. And even then, um, fear, we, we shouldn't okay. have it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say, even then, we should really let go of the fear. Because fear is just a limitation. It's not real. Right, right. right. And, and like, I know the group I'm in and Andy, um, I would watch those shows and just cringe because I go, why are they running from that? The sa little sound or whatever. You run towards it. If you're investigating, you run for it. Yes. And that's what we tend. This is what we do when we go on invest investigations. And I'm part, I could think I just really have a lot of my grandmother in me. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid of anything. And I'm the first one to go in. Like Andy and I have the uh, hag story. We both have a hag story. And she manifested in at the foot of my bed. So I'm going down to put my hand through her. Now, how many people are going to do that without screaming in, <laughs> and getting paralyzed and screaming? I mean, I'm going to go feel what she's about. And uh, But the thing is, is that when we do see the people from the other side and the spirits, when we want to get a message and everything, you know, it's... They're not, it's not a scary thing. They're someone's grandmother or child or whatever. Yes. And um, so I know the majority are, and you know, the majority are that. Of course, I do work, uh, you know, on the other side of things. You know, there's a lot of people, Shannon, a lot of people that come to my meetups and stuff. And I do this all the time and they go, ah, there's only angels. That's all. There's a, and I said, good, think that way. That's a good place to be because you don't want to be me. <laughs> but um, I go, it's all a comfort. It's a comfort thing, what we're comfortable with. But you're so right. We're, we're from the movies that are out there and everything. And people tend to want to be scared. They go on my events, Shannon, because they want to be scared. And then when something happens, they're running for the car. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm a rock star. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I don't know what it is. It's in my DNA. You know, it just is. Um, if I can see me getting into my dream school, Raleigh. 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 Is that a class I'm left out? Dream school. Um, that's all we got from um. My feeling is, is that you can do anything that you really want to. I feel like he's limiting himself. So he any anything that he wants to do, he can make happen. Um, if he wants to get into this dream school, he just needs to work for it and needs to make it happen. Because, you know, we are 
kind of the masters of our own reality. So if we want to do something, all we need to do is be Mm -hmm. the squeaky wheel until we're there. (laughs) And Shannon, um, for advice with that, would he want to work with a certain angel or is there, um, you know, often I know with me and Debbie, we like to manifest and work with the other side. Yes. In, in in helping us what would you recommend for like an angel or uh for him to go on that path towards his well to come up goal? really quickly um ariel is the angel of change i mean i know that she's also the lioness for god but ariel comes in when there's change so she's really good but michael also i'm not but and michael is also very good if i want something to happen I, I say, hey, Michael, you think you can make this happen for me? And I will tell you he responds within a day. Um, and if he's he hasn't responded within that time, it's usually not in my highest and best good. <laughs> mm, right. Right. You, you know, Shannon, you were talking uh, earlier about uh, fears and everything. I think that is such a big thing right now. Most of my clients, when they come in, I'm always seeing strength, strength, strength. I said, you got to. You've got to face your fears. Yes. And um, do you see that more and more? I, I, I feel like it's always all coming in. And I said, you need to be strong. We need strong people out there. And you need to not let fear get you. But do you see that maybe coming more and more right now because of what's going on in the world or, or in the cosmos? Well, I've noticed that fear has been kicking up. Um, there, because, you know, there's a lot of really good positive energy happening. There's a lot of the light is winning, even though we don't think so, you know, um, the, the light energy, the good people, the good energy really is winning. But, you know, when that happens, you're going to have an amp up of fear because that is the only way to control the population is to make us fearful of something. Right. And so they're going to amp that up to make people more mm-hmm. fearful so that the, the light doesn't have as good a stronghold. Wow. Um, we are, uh, we only have a few minutes and then we are, have a gift card giveaway. So yeah. uh, please post uh, your questions in and also post a number from one, including one through 100, including 100, up in the comments right now, B, because we'll be sending you a gift card. And um, I really was amiss in being able to get that gift card for last week. I went to get it, and they didn't have any, believe it or not. So I still have to send the one from last week. But uh, do put post something from 1 to 100. Wow, that's a long one there. Yes. Can you read it for me, Andy? Yeah. And this one just seemed very interesting to me, so I'll I'll minimize it after. Um, first time viewer, Eric and Renee McDuffie. First time watching, I apologize if this is not allowed. I lost a family member a few years back. I grieved, and for a few years, I was okay. Recently, I have had dreams about this person and hear their voice, and I feel like they are trying to reach out to me, and I'm going crazy. I honestly am not sure who else to turn to with this issue. If you could try to help me with that, that would be amazing. And that's from Eric and Renee McDuffie. And who was the one that they lost? I know they said a family member who, a few years ago, but that's not very... Um, th- it feels to me like there's a couple... Um, people who are trying to get a hold of her um, oh. let, let us know let us know who the specific specifically is if it uh renee or eric who is the family member because it's really oh. this is what I, I have the people grandfather who when this goes in their head over and over and over then it can manifest into something concerning my feeling is, is that you're getting a very clear message and it's almost like, like they want you to do something, take action on something, but it has nothing to do with them. It has to do with you. It has to do something that you've been meaning to do or that you need to do. Kind of like my book writing. (laughs) Um, There's something that you need to take care of and you need to do. Um, And it feels like he's trying to tell you what you need to do. And, um, one thing I'm hearing uh, very uh, like kind of like a funny thing is, is that you need to listen with your mind, not just with your ears. Well, 
That's a great yeah. message. That was neat. Well, I think that we're just running down on time. Did anybody post any numbers yet? Yep. So we got some numbers here. Now, who's going to pick the magic number? I think Shannon. I already did. Oh, did I'm you? Sorry. Hey. No, this okay. is awesome. So if um, any of the viewers, if you have not, just uh, a quick reminder, post one number from one to 100, uh, just one time. And uh, it is your responsibility to just private message us on the fan page and uh, send us your address. So, yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. Sometimes because, it, it's yeah. hard to go back and find out who it was. So it's your, your only responsibility is to private message us with that. We don't keep anybody's uh, right. info. So just let us know. Okay. Get it out of my head, you guys, and just post your, the oh, number nice. in the comments. I'm going to make and sure I, I didn't one. miss anybody here. Okay. Okay. So Grizel has 46. Okay. China, 25. Okay. We have Renee uh, with 14. Okay. And we have Michaela Jones with 18. Okay. We have Brett with 96. Okay. China, 34. China, I thought you said China had 25. Okay. Um, China, let's see. China, China, we're going to go with your second number, 34. I'm just okay. going to decide. <laughs> um, okay. You know what? Let's let's change that because it looks like um, Rally did 34 as well. So, okay. sorry, China 25, Rally uh, Rally is 34. Okay. We have Casey Ross. This is my my coworker. Hi, Casey. Welcome. She's got 17. Okay. Now, we have Angel Stefan. This is an, uh, another great medium. She was the second year medium uh, that I went to class with. And how convenient okay. with her first name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Okay, China. We have 66. <laughs> okay. Um, Becky. Just one guess. Yeah. Just one guess, guys. Just one guess, guys. <laughs> uh, Becky, okay, 57. any more? Okay. Wendy, 51. Okay. Amanda, 37. Okay. Okay. Are we done? And, and Brett at 96, if you have him. I have him. Okay. And then Grizel had 46, right? Yes. Okay. I think we're done. Okay. Congratulations, Renee. Because look at what the number was. Oh, yay. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Perfect number. I was like, come on. Oh, you guys. that was Renee. Okay. Renee, uh, you've won a gift card and it's going to be McDonald's. <laughs> um, so please private message Psychic Fixes. And with your address, and I'll get it in the mail to you. Congratulations. But, oh, that was good. That was fun. Uh, Shannon. Yes. I can't thank you enough. This was just fabulous. And to answer those questions, and this video will be put on YouTube so you guys can refer back to it. And we do have Shannon's um, information and um, so you can contact her. And I hope that you'll come on again sometime. But... This, that will be to show us your book so yes. we can right. help you sell it. Well, I That's will amazing. Come on anytime you'd like. This has been amazing. It, time went by really quickly. Well, you know how good we are at sponsorship. We didn't name our sponsor, did we? <laughs> no, we but I, yep, I'm, I'm ready to do that. Okay. Um, Save. So, <laughs> yeah, 
Tonight's uh, live sponsor is brought to you by Kimberly Boshu. Now she's um, she's the checkered lily. Uh, apothecary. Uh, you apothecary. can never say it. Checkered yeah. lily apothecary <laughs> on Etsy. And I want to tell you guys about, she has the most wonderful makeup ever. And especially if you like mermaidy, sparkly, wonderful. She's come out with her Halloween collection and she had a contest for it. And the theme this year is Edgar Allan Poe. So I can't wait to see the colors. So um, we love Kim and her information is also in her links to her Etsy store there. And um, like I said, go and look at it. It's the most fabulous, beautiful colors that she hand, hand makes herself. And it's just wonderful. So plus I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, she is my niece. <laughs> I'm a proud auntie here. So do check her out and she makes wonderful products. So we thank her for being our sponsor tonight. And it is just about time to go to the lobby and thank you everyone. When will you all come back? We will be here Wednesday with Laureen and Laureen is a energy healer and she'll be doing energy healing 101 with us on Wednesday at 6.30 Pacific time. And then we'll be back on that next Friday, every Wednesday and Friday. Free readings are only on Fridays though, okay? So we love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Shannon, thanks again. Thank you. Thank for you, having. Shannon. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye, thank you, everybody, Andy. for Bye. watching. Please like hang on, and hang on. Yeah, like everything. Shannon, we're going to go ahead and go to the lobby, so stay on. Yes. And bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you.